Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wim from the Nokiablog.com. I'll show you how to manually update your Nokia phone to the latest version. Um, a lot of users out there still don't have the Symbian Anna update, so this tutorial might be really helpful. First things first, you need two applications. The first thing is NaviFirm Plus. That will let you download the actual files for your uh, Nokia phone. You could get it at symbiantoys.com slash navifirm.asbx The next application that you need is called Phoenix Service Software 2011 I wanted to make sure that I had the latest version so um, I found it at forum.gsmhosting.com slash vbb and uh, just go ahead and search for posts that uh, let you know which version is the latest okay so my version is 2011.24.0024625 Okay, so next step, you open up NaviFirm Plus. So NaviFirm is not an official application by Nokia, but uh, it gives you access to the files. So um, I'm trying to update my Nokia N8. And here on the left side, you'll see a list of devices. It's a pretty long list. You could uh, search for your device manually by scrolling scrolling along. Or you could go here at the bottom, filter out the results, and uh, I type N8, and here it is. So also keep in mind this RM number. Uh, you might need that later on. Okay, so I click on that, and on the right side, a list of releases show up. I know for a fact that Symbian Anna is 22.14. I'll click on that. Here's a long list of variants for the Nokia N8. See a lot of regions, uh, different colors for the Nokia N8. I want to filter this out to just show variants for Europe. Um, I'm doing this because I have bought phones from uh, Europe and I didn't have problems with uh, the languages or uh, whatever customizations it had uh, from previous experience. I think uh, for US users, I think the Latin America variant might be safe also. Okay, so on the right side, it'll show all the files that you need for your firmware. Click on Mark All. And then you download from Fire. I'll uh, download it to my desktop. We'll go ahead and make a new folder. I'll name it Nokia N8. Okay, and then hit OK. So there are a total of 19 files for this firmware. And uh, it looks like it might take a while, depending on your connection. So uh, let's just wait for this. To finish. All right, so the files are done and they're downloaded. And here it is. We actually have to move these files to a uh, Phoenix. Um, let's go to local disk. You go to program files, Nokia, Phoenix. products okay and just copy these Nokia N8 files onto the Phoenix slash products folder uh, we'll click continue okay so now we need to rename this folder instead of Nokia N8 we have to rename it to its uh, type number um, it's called RM596. Remember from this list right here? RM596. Hit enter and continue. Okay, so that's done. We now open up Phoenix. Um, so Phoenix will let us install the files or the firmware on, onto the Nokia N8. So my Nokia N8 is currently
currently connected to my PC. It's actually my Mac. I'm running uh, Parallels right now. Under connections, you can see here USB 2 RM596. So I'll do that. And then, um, as you can see here, I'm not connected to it currently. Go to file, scan product. Once you see uh, something in here, you'll know that the phone is connected and ready. So next thing is go to flashing and go to firmware update. Now you need to go to these three dots and uh, select. If nothing shows up, make sure to go back to uh, program files, uh, you know, the folder that we uh, renamed. Make sure that you got that right. So you go here, then hit OK. Now you have two options. You could click on Update Software or Refurbish. Refurbish will uh, reset your phone. Uh, you'll get all the factory files, uh, just like getting a new phone. If you click on Update, I think all your, your original uh, photos, your uh, data will, will stay intact. It's probably better if you do Refurbish, but if you don't you absolutely don't want to lose your files or your applications. You click on update software. So I'll go ahead and click refurbish. All right, so it looks like the firmware updating succeeded. Um, a pop-up shows up letting you know that you're done. So you could also see from the output here firmware updating succeeded so we'll click OK and uh, it looks like my phone is is uh, rebooting right now um, I think that's pretty much it um, okay that you probably heard my Nokia just rebooted so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you have any questions let me know in the YouTube comments below or the post for this video um, thanks for watching